back, everybody. It's time for today's comedian. Please welcome to the show, Mark Turcotte. <laughs> So my dad's an interesting guy. He, uh, he has a lot of favorite sayings now. One of them is, that's how they get you. Like he thinks the whole world's out to get him. He'll go, yeah, I signed up for that direct TV, $29.95 a month for the first six months, then they jack it up to 90. That's how they get you. <laughs> Bought a hammer on eBay for five bucks, cost me 10 for shipping. That's how they get you. And he's got another favorite saying, the list goes on. But he never uses it in the right context. Like he'll go, I like all the presidents on Mount Rushmore. Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, Lincoln. The list goes on. <laughs> no, it doesn't, Dad. There's a finite end to that list. Spent so much money providing for you kids. You, your sister. The list goes on. <laughs> Dad, what are you talking about? There's just me and Denise. Are you trying to tell me you've been providing for other kids while we were growing up? <laughs> well, uh, that's how they get you. <laughs> <laughs> Getting sick in my house was no fun growing up. We only had one kind of medicine. That was NyQuil. <laughs> my dad would give you NyQuil for anything. Got a cough? NyQuil. Got a sneeze? NyQuil. Getting on my nerves? Friggin' NyQuil. <laughs> And why wouldn't he? You know, that stuff's like 90 proof. You know, the first thing he'd do with a new bottle of NyQuil, he'd take off the protective wrapper and throw that away, right along with the measuring cup. <laughs> Nobody's gonna tell my dad how much medicine to give his kid. He'll figure that out on his own through trial and error. So he'd just fill up a Dixie cup, which is like five times the dosage. I'm eight years old, I go from a head cold to a coma in four seconds. <laughs> You know, he put me to bed on Monday, wake me up on Thursday. Time to go to school. A month later, for show and tell, my friends are bringing in baseball cards and Lego sculptures. I got my 30-day sobriety chip from my AA meetings. <laughs> Not fun. Not fun. Anybody here as a result of an online date? That happened? Yeah. No? Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, statistically, that's impossible. <laughs> Especially nowadays. Have you guys seen those commercials for Christian Mingle? You guys seen those? Yeah. Online dating for the holy and the horny? You seen that? I, uh, I'm happily married, so I have no use for online dating, but I, I have seen those commercials and they fascinate me. Especially Christian Mingle. You know, but to be fair, I also researched some other online dating sites. And the other sites are not like Christian Mingle. The other sites got you covered. Whatever you're into. Same sex, little people, power tools, farm animals, I don't know. Whatever it takes. You know, Christian Mingle, three options. Men seeking women, women seeking men, and men and women seeking eternal damnation. <laughs> That's it. You know, a lot of people think a woman who signs up for Christian Mingle will be really shy and boring. I think just the opposite. This woman believes a man walked on water. She believes a man parted the Red Sea. She believes a man rose from the dead. This woman has an imagination just waiting to be exploited. And I think men can use that to their advantage. Honey, I talked to God last night. You did? Yeah. He wants your friend Lisa to come over. <laughs> what do you say, huh? So I'm, uh, I'm unemployed now, and uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, <laughs> I feel at home now. Um, it's hard to escape the shame and the embarrassment of being unemployed, like even when we're doing our taxes. My wife uses TurboTax. Uh, it's a great program, she's been using it for years. They, uh, they make it simple by asking a lot of yes or no questions. And a couple months ago, she's doing our taxes and uh, TurboTax goes, our records indicate that Mark and Sherry Turcott were employed full time last year. Is this information still accurate? And she clicked no. And TurboTax goes, it was Mark, wasn't it? <laughs> That's my time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mark Turcott. We'll be right back right after this.